Do you want to learn how to make a great claim button just like this one in full OP extremely fast? Make sure to keep watching. Hello, loves. Hello YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Slice Melon video. My name is Karen, also known as Soaring Key, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3D button in Photo P. So I did put the end result at the start of the video, and without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to photop.com, and then you're going to want to hit new project, and then for the width, make this 1920, and make the height 1080 with a DPI. 300 then you're gonna click create and you're gonna go down to here and get a dark gray color and we're gonna make a background dark gray after we've done that we are gonna just um, click on this lock to unlock our background layer and then we're gonna make a new layer and we're gonna go to our color menu again and pick the color we want to use I'm gonna use a purple and after we've done that, we're going to go to our rectangle tool, make our corner radius maybe 40. So we're just going to draw a nice button, and then make our fill purple and our stroke off. So we're just going to select these two layers by left click and control on both of them. And just press these two buttons on the move tool for this and just name this layer button. Then we can go right click, blending options and add an inner shadow. And the size down the distance up and set the angle to negative 90 distance down and then set this to like a darkish blue okay now that we've done that we can go right click rasterize layer style then we can make a new layer right click clipping mask make this white Go to our pen tool and we're just going to pen tool on like a wavy sort of shape. Then make our fill white, clipping mask, turn this down, then if you want you can go edit, transform, warp and just warp it into a better shape if you need to. And once you're done hit the tick now let's make a new layer right click and clipping mask and we're just gonna make a rectangle then we're gonna press control not control the right click and duplicate you're gonna want to space these out pretty far then duplicate again okay and we're just going to select all these and merge them then right click clipping mask and then uh, edit free transform we're just going to rotate these scale them up and then press um, this check mark once you're done and then control H and we're going to set it to overlay There we go. Let me just right click rasterize and I'm just gonna um, quickly select this. And then I'm gonna go edit, free transform, and just move this one along a bit. Then control H, hit the check mark. Alright. <coughs> Whoops. Okay. What? Okay. Just click on a new tool. Then click off of that then make a new layer make sure this is white and go to our rectangle tool set the corner radius to maybe 10 and we're just gonna make some shines so we're gonna have this going all the way to here and control H make a new layer go to our brush tool make this 10 make sure you got a hard round brush and you might want to turn your smooth up just a little okay and then we're just gonna draw on the shine 
Okay. Now we've done that, just select all these layers and control E to merge. Next, let's make a new layer. Make sure this is white. And then we're going to go to our text tool. Pick a font you want to use. I might use Fredoka 1. And just type out whatever you want to say. I'm going to make it say um, claim. Then control A to select it. Go up here. Make that white. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go edit. Free transform. And just drag this text by the corners to scale it up. Then center it. Then we're going to go um, select it again. And we're going to make it a dark purple. Or what you can do is you can make this white, then you can add a stroke like this. So right click blending options stroke. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to go onto the actual button layer, right click blending options stroke. Okay, And then I'm going to select all these layers and hit control G to group them. Name this button. Might want to move my text up a little. And as you can see, we have just made a really nice button in Photopea. If you liked this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, tell me what you liked about the video, tell me what you don't, how I can improve. And make sure to subscribe, check out our Twitter and our TikTok in the description and also make sure to join our Discord server. I will see you in the next video.